John Bayer, the midnight here, looking for Divine somewhere in Phoenix, Maryland. Divine, you're looking fantastic. Why, well, thank you, Mr. Vader. I'm so glad you could come. Nat Krizan here from the Tatler. Well, good afternoon, Mr. Krizan. Gentlemen, get ready, because you're about to witness the trial of these two unfortunates, commonly known as Connie and Raymond Marble. Their trial will take place in front of your very eyes, and their execution will follow. We're going to witness an actual murder? A live homicide? That is right, gentlemen. Goldstein, Larry Goldstein. Very tempting. And I have a question for you, Miss Cotton. Is that correct, Cotton? Yes, it is. Are you a willing accomplice to these murders that are about to take place? This is not exactly a murder, Mr. Goldstein. This is a court, a kangaroo court, as the headlines could scream. Not a mere murder, as you would call it. If we were involved in merely another murder, it could hardly be headlines. It's not just the publicity. My mama couldn't go on her everyday life with this kind of shit going on. My mama was not the aggressor in this little war we had. She only did what had to be done. It was suicide on their part. And Cotton... And there's a smile on your lips. Does murder make you happy? Murder merely relieves tension, Mr. Krizan. For murder to bring happiness, one must already be happy. And I am completely at peace with myself. Totally happy. Give me more questions. Divine, are you a lesbian? Yes, I have done everything. Does blood turn you on? It does more than turn me on, Mr. Vader. It makes me cum. And more than the sight of it, I love the taste of it. The taste of hot freshly killed blood. Could you give us some of your political beliefs? Kill everyone now. Condone first-degree murder. Advocate cannibalism. Eat shit. Filth are my politics. Filth is my life. Take whatever you like. Uh, yes. How's uh, this for a center spread? Oh, oh, Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Almighty. Okay, Divine, where will you go now? I'm sure you're aware that after the execution, you will be the subject of an extensive search. To another city to set up headquarters once again. Of course, I cannot reveal to you the exact location. Patience, Mr. Vader, patience. Another time, another story. And now for the trial! You sit here. Back here? Mm-hmm, yes. sit down. Okay. Now, pictures during the trial, please. This is a court of law. I call to the stand Miss Cotton. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Who burned down our trailer? Connie and Raymond Marble. Can you point them out in this court? There they are, right there, the ones that are tied up. Who sent me a turd in the mail? Connie and Raymond Marble. That is all. Is there any cross-examination? <laughs> no cross-examination? Very well. You may step down. I call to the stand, crackers. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Sure, Mom. I wouldn't shit you. How did Connie and Raymond find out where we live? They hired a spy. How did the spy get her information? By nosing around asking a lot of questions and by fucking me. That's how she got it. That dirty little skag. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you. Is there any cross-examination? <laughs> no? A very strange defense. I must say. You may step down. Gentlemen, the verdict is guilty on all ten counts of first-degree stupidity. The penalty phase will now begin. I call Cotton to the stand. Your oath still remains. I presume you understand this? Naturally. In your opinion, what should the penalty in this case be? Death. That is all. You may step down. I call Crackers to the stand. You realize you are still under oath? Of course. In your opinion, should these people be allowed to live? No. Thank you. Gentlemen of the press, the verdict is death. But first, due to the magnitude of these capital crimes, these two people must be humiliated in front of the media. Use these pictures, gentlemen, and use them wisely. We have an example to set. Let the good people of this country know that they cannot fuck with divine and get away with it. Let them know that we are indeed the filthiest people alive. Mr. Vader. Yes, divine. Do you think that there are other filthy people in the world? I mean, is it now a cult? It is a very minor cult right now, Mr. Vader, but one that is growing and growing, growing faster than you can imagine. I will be queen.
queen one day, and my coronation will be celebrated all over the world. Do not forget, I am divine. What a day for an execution. Off the record, Mama, do we stab him or shoot him? Shoot, crackers, Good. shoot. No mess for the midnight. Don't forget the tattler. And the tattler, honey. And confidential. How could I ever forget the confidential? Gentlemen, come this way. Come on. Come on, Patty. Come in this car. Okay, Miss Cotton. Here, hold that. Burn my mama's house down, will you? You goddamn worm. You fucking piece of lousy shit. And now for the feathers. Uh, Only we're not going to run you out of town. We're going to kill you. Kill, kill, kill. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Questions and answers. Do you believe in God? I am God. You are God. You are God. <laughs> is there no wrong? There is right and there is wrong. I have never been wrong, Mr. Goldstein. Do you expect to get new followers with this publicity? I certainly hope so, Mr. Kazan. I didn't invite you here to jerk off, you know. Get this all down. Don't miss one single word. Suppose we decide not to print this story, Mr. Vine. What then? Oh, Mr. Vader. See there? Does that answer your question? I have your address, and I know you have a wife and child. Is that correct? Yes. Well, if nothing is printed, we might be in the mood for a barbecue. Get what I mean? A human barbecue. End of question and answer period. Proceed with the execution. They are finished, and a lovely couple they are. Aren't they? Gentlemen of the press, get ready, because you are about to witness the biggest news event of the year. Live homicide. Connie and Raymond Marble, you have breathed your last breath. You have sighed your last sigh. You are no longer alive. Connie Marble, you stand convicted of assholism. The proper punishment will now take place. Look pretty for the picture, Connie. That's it. No further questions. No further pictures. I have spoken. Thanks for the scoop, Divine. Next month's sale should be booming. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you for coming. Do keep in touch. I you will, Mr. Vader. I am. Always know where I am. Readers aren't going to believe this. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Always count her for a story, I'll tell you that. She always was a news conscious <laughs> woman. <laughs> Only problem is, I don't know, we've been trying to get to midnight in the supermarkets, and it's a hot story, all right, but it's so squalid. Yeah, well, Tatler will be in the supermarket.